chicken and noodle soup is easy to make it's really not that difficult to make great tasting chicken and noodle soup really with the convenience of using the supermarket roasted chicken you can get incredible flavor without starting from scratch when I started testing recipes I looked through all my conventional cookbooks gourmet cookbooks online etc all the recipes I found seemed to lack the flavor I was looking for you know that great chicken need depth of homemade chicken soup so I started looking in those cookbooks from churches and women's organizations although I didn't find the exact recipe there I did have some thoughts that led to my current method I use a noodle recipe from a very sweet lady who goes to my church Dolores Coster her soup recipe is in the st. Francis Xavier Carbondale Illinois cookbook the struggle I was having live in making the stock flash broth flash base for the soup that's when I decided there had to be a better easier faster way to get the flavor I wanted without waiting for a cooked chicken vegetables and some seasonings to figure out how to marry together appropriately one night after my daughter's basketball game we stopped to get a rotisserie chicken and the grocery store for dinner my family only likes the white meat so we have part of the chicken liked over rather than tossing it because no one liked the dark meat I froze the whole thing until I could figure out how to use up the remaining chicken my son had been asking for homemade chicken and noodles and that's when I decided to give it a try I added what was left of the rotisserie chicken into water with some vegetables and spices to make the base for the soup after a couple of hours of simmering on the stove and it smelled great I strained the mixture and boned what was left of the chicken ironically my kids don't really like a lot of chicken in their soup so this idea works out great for us and for some reason they eat the dark meat in this soup I add the noodles and let it simmer for at least an hour or two usually I have to owe water prior to adding the noodles the result is really good it has become one of those meals that everyone looks forward to and the kids always ask for when they don't feel well I guess that's the true test of chicken soup right I hope you enjoy it too by the way feel free to add new carrots or whatever other kind of vegetables you would like to this soup my kids prefer to have a bowl of steamed broccoli and cauliflower that they can dip in the broth so I don't add anything but noodles to the strained broth for us chicken noodle soup one grocery store rotisserie chicken or the remaining part of one if you like a lot of chicken in your soup you may want to add a chicken breast or two if not using a whole chicken one medium onion quartered to stalks celery cut into two inch pieces five whole peppercorns one tea poultry seasoning one tea sea salt water in a Dutch oven or large soup pot Add all of the above ingredients except water pour enough water over to cover ingredients by one inch bring to a boil then turn down to a simmer and leave uncovered for at least one hour but preferably two I like to start this first thing in the morning to have for lunch or at noon for an early dinner with a slotted stook your spider strained chicken bones canned vegetables out of pot put pot back on burner and add about three cups of water bone chicken reserving meat for the soup if you would like to add vegetables especially carrots do so now if adding peas you can wait until the last 10 minutes of total cooking time noodles one egg three egg yolks cold water to sea flour to tea salt in a medium mixing bowl add all eggs whisk until light add three tablespoons of cold water and salt and whisk until well blended add flour and mix with a fork until you can gather it up in your hands and form a ball depending on the weather I've had to add a bit more water to bring it together but be careful not to add too much and make it sticky let the dough sit for about five minutes this is important because it allows the dough to be rolled out much easier and less like elastic flour the area where you will roll out the dough roll out the dough into a large circle I get it as thin as I can about 1 8 inch although some people like their noodles thicker if you prefer them thick you will need to add four times for cooking to make them tender using a pizza cutter cut the dough into noodles the desired width and length you prefer put the noodles into the simmering broth and continue to simmer for at least one half hour but they are more tender if you have the time to let them simmer for an hour you can add the chicken about the last 15 minutes taste for seasoning because I usually need to add at least another chicken and noodle soup is easy to make it's really not that difficult to make great tasting chicken and noodle soup really
With the convenience of using the supermarket roasted chicken, you can get incredible flavor without starting from scratch. When I started testing recipes, I looked through all my conventional cookbooks, gourmet cookbooks, online, etc. All the recipes I found.